Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be discussing the Arafura class offshore patrol vessel and why it sucks. The Arafura class offshore patrol vessel or OPV is currently set to replace the Armadale class patrol boat and the Cape class patrol vessels with the first the class being launched in, at the Osborne shipyard in December 2021. However, recent developments have put a focus on the vessels failing and the government has listed the program as one of concern with speculation about the future of the project, potentially including the cancellation of the ship. So what exactly has led to this, and how is the Arafura a bad ship? To understand all this, we must go back to the initial design phase of the Arafura. The Arafura class is designed and built by the German shipbuilding company Lursen, or Lursen, Lursen? I apologize, I, I, I'm not great at this. Um, and was designed to carry out patrol, mine warfare and hydrographic survey missions, with 20 vessels planned to replace 26 vessels across four separate classes. The ship was also initially designed to carry four anti-ship missiles, a 40mm autocannon, two 50 caliber machine guns and a helicopter bay with a helicopter deck rated to support such assets. However, since um, However, that has since been stripped down to a 25 Bushmaster autocannon and 250 caliber machine guns. This raises the question of survivability and the capability to operate in a modern day environment or in high level conflict zones. Without a missile system, the ship would be completely outclassed by other vessels fielded by potentially hostile nations. And due to the removal of the initially speculated helicopter bay and the downgrading of the deck so that helicopters can no longer land on it, the use case of the ship needs to be discussed. The reason for this is without missiles, the larger gun or helicopters, there's no logical reason to keep the Arafura class in service. The increased size of the vessel is to provide space for these capabilities, which are of extreme importance. Without these weapons, you are simply buying a much bigger, more expensive ship, with money that could be easily spent on the ca boosting capability of current platforms to perform their duties more effectively. or a platform of the same size that has greater capability. Austal, who designed the Cape class, have recently put out several conceptual models, which are highlighted by upgrades to the ships, including anti-ship missiles, drone defence systems, air defence systems, along with surveillance drones. Austal has also designed an OPV concept that would be equipped with anti-ship missiles and anti-drone defences alongside a helicopter bay and deck, effectively providing the same capabilities that the Arafura has scratched. This fundamentally challenges the requirement for the Arafura, as it makes no sense to purchase nor procure such a large vessel for the patrol role. Now I have seen people argue that well, steel is cheap and air is free, however that's simply not the case. The Arafura, even without the weapon systems on board, costs $300 million per unit whilst the Cape class costs a mere $50 million. In terms of cost effectiveness, it would be more useful to simply upgrade the Cape class to a higher standard than continuing with the RFR program. In addition, the ship would only be useful in the immediate region around Australia, as most um, nations further north than Papua New Guinea have much more powerfully equipped and armed assets of the same size. Removing all potential use of the Arafura as a power projecting asset and simply turning it into a higher risk vessel that costs more than our current ships and is less capable than other nations vessels. However, the final straw for me is this. As is common with all Australian procurement, these are not the only issues. The program is also behind schedule, over budget, and despite the main weapons being um, stripped from the ship, the Arafura also has this seaworthiness issues. Yes, that's right. Australia's new patrol boat is having trouble staying afloat. All of these issues have led to the Arafura losing its relevance and becoming increasingly viewed as a failed project. The government is real, re now reconsidering the program with the second part of the Defence Strategic Review which is coming out this year. The DSR will consider the benefits of maintaining the Arafura against the benefits of other programs and combined with a new need for increased lethality and capacity, it is quite likely that the program will either be scrapped in favour of a new Corvette class, or a redesign of the Arafura to boost its lethality and capability in modern conflict. However, given that Lewison, um, the producers of the Arafura, have actually been putting forward um, 
an actual Corvette class vessel as a pot potential option, it seems that the interest is ma mainly regarding a Corvette. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I want to thank all of you for helping me reach 69 subscribers. It means a lot for me, and I really do appreciate the support. Once more, I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.